Rap is out of control. Nobody knows who Ren Thomas is. He's I know who Ren Thomas is. He's who from, the fuck is Ren Thomas? He's from Jersey. You know what, though? He been nice. I've been nice. <laughs> What's up, Ren? I'm chilling, man. It's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Good, good to see, see you as well, yeah. What's been up? Nothing. Just, you know, just, just going through some music and going through some, some good music off this I've been nice joint. Thank you. Thank yeah, thank let's you, talk man. about this. When did this come out? Uh, January 20th this okay. year. Um, Lord Sear presents Ren Thomas. I've been nice. Nice. You know, my brother Sear helped the executive produce him, put it together and all that. Sorry and, to uh, hear that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's my brother. Yeah. He's, a, he's a great guy. Yeah. Great guy. For sure. For sure. So, so the, of course, the, the main thing that stands out upon first look is is the Pete Rock produced joint. Yeah, I've been nice. That's 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 pretty, pretty. Yeah, uh, Sear linked us up and, nice. you know, me and Pete have had a really good relationship since dope and then there's, uh, there's actually a, a, a remix for that the remix it. on that joint yeah that's yeah. that's the pete rocks version oh it's the, the remix the is remix pete. is the pete rock ah i see i had the original done okay and then, uh sear wasn't really feeling the beat <laughs> sears know what he's talking about <laughs> i gotta see i'm not now i'm confused on which one is which because no you have the pete rock version. i have both because that because jerry sent me one today that he says is the remix but the one that he sent today says pete rock on it, it yeah that's the one but I, but I was on the impression that the one that he sent me already was the Pete Rock one. So They're both five. The dude who did the other one is uh, this dude O R L. Yeah, they they, they got. They he got just reached out. He reached out to me and was like, "Yo, That's I got hot. this beat. Sent it over." And I yeah. did the original record. And then me and Sear, I, I came and pick him up out in Harlem. Mm. We're driving back to Jersey to go do the studio session. He's like, "Yo, I got these Pete Rock beats. Want to hear them?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." So he puts one on, and I'm like, "This is fire." So I had just wrote that record. Okay, I've been nice shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I. Those verses are like in my head at right, that time. Right. So I start spitting them. Yeah. And he's like, yo, that would be fire for that record. I'm like, well, that's the <laughs> shit that I just played. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 no. We're going to do it with Pete. And then he sent it over to Pete. And then uh, me and Pete ended up doing, we didn't meet each other until I did the Doomsday Cypher with Sway. Okay. And Which I didn't I, even know about uh, B was to put me up on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was on the Freestyle Friday thing. Okay. See, uh, Sway went crazy. Nice. And then uh, brought me back for the Doomsday Cypher on Revolt. And, mm -hmm. uh, that was the first time I met Pete, and nice. then since then we kicked it a bunch of times. But dope, he's that's, good, really good dude. Yeah. Yes, he is. Shout out to Pete Rock. Shout out For to sure. all the, the the dope uh, legendary producers out there that are, that remain humble and oh, yeah. and good people to this day right now. Yeah. Speaking of competition, Ren Thomas. So yeah. Now you said you 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 mutilated um, B Shine in a, in a <laughs> I battle. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good battle. It was a good battle. Uh, yeah. It's back in the day. Um, no, but he was. Put me up on a lot more of, of the whole, you know, battle stuff and, yeah. and what you've been doing. So yeah, it came from grind time. Mm -hmm. uh, I did like I think it's nineteen uh, documented like battles. Okay, how many wins? Nineteen. Woo! Okay. <laughs> 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 but uh, then I went back to making music because right. I, I was having more fun making music. Battle battling's cool, but yeah. you know, it's like two different parts of the. Most brain. people at some point have to. Kind of, they, they not they have to, but most people kind of graduate to yeah, making I mean, music. I came, and, I came from battling mm -hmm. parties, right? But then I, I was doing music, right? And we got shelved, me and my mm -hmm. brother Tab. Okay. Uh, he actually produced the oil and water joint, okay? And uh, couldn't do anything but battle, right? Like legally, gotcha. Like, that was the only way gotcha. to like you could change your express name, express myself. Could have been That's like, true. I could have been Fan like, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, I was renegade back then. Uh, okay, all right. So, uh, you know, I went to the battling thing for like two years. When grind time fell apart, right. I just said, fuck it, and went back to making music. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last year, I won Team Backpack, right? Which is like 10,000 MCs. Nice. Um, mm. Yeah, that That's was crazy. cool. Uh, then but I you did. didn't battle 10,000. <laughs> no. They just kind of like, uh, they just kind of weeded themselves out. It was like, it, it was like 10,000 people uh, tried out. Yeah. 600 made it. Oh, Jesus. And they had 600 rappers spit a 16 in front oh, of 5,000 people. Wow. And then they picked 12. Wow. <laughs> so I was How one many of those days did this event take? Two. <laughs> That's crazy. I showed up. I, I didn't even want to do it, but I was on uh, tour with these dudes out in Cali, and they right. were like, oh, Team Backpack is the biggest thing you'll ever do. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool. They were like, yo, we're going to come stay with you in Jersey. I was like, all right, bet. And then we'll just go back and forth to Brooklyn. <laughs> and then both of them canceled and didn't even go. I was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? So then I was like, should I go? Should I go? And then I went, and it ended up being like a really good thing. That's dope. Yeah. 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 So, all right. So now the album's out there. Been out there since January 20th. Yeah. Um, um, what is coming up for you? Uh, working on a new album. Okay. Uh, Still nice. 
Still nice. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, it's going to be called The Renaissance okay. uh, with producer from Jersey named Nemesis. Dope. Keep been doing the shows, keep pushing yeah. the merch, pushing the album. Yeah, of course. Uh, so how much merch you guys? Do you have the hats? Uh, we got hats, t-shirts, mm-hmm. hoodies, scullies, nice. uh, shot glasses, because there's a song in there called No Chaser. Right. And uh, we push that. Yeah. Shot glasses. I'm a big drinker. Okay. So, uh, you know. <laughs> So there's that. <laughs> there's that thing about me. Yeah, man. artists out there, if you get the opportunity to, to, you know, go travel and tour and actually have people coming out to your shows is is highly um, useful to have merchandise because 100%. you could you could go ahead and make just as much money off your merch as you do off your shows in oh, some yeah. cases. So mm-hmm. could even do some free shows and make a bunch of money go. doing, you know? Mm-hmm. Most like, definitely. 